Good evening, guys. There are some very well-known jets on the tarmac here right behind me, and it is easy to get gas when you are on the ground, but these guys fly all over the country. So what happens if they need to be refueled mid-flight? Well, a very special plane is on hand to help. It was a bird's eye view from the cockpit of the KC-135 Stratotanker as we geared up from Gary Jet Center in Indiana. Ready to go? Yep, wind's coming slightly from the left. At the helm... It's fantastic. Uh, I love coming home. Patrick Burke, who was raised out in Schaumburg. I was fortunate enough to fly in the air show last year, um, which was just a surreal experience because sitting and watching the air show as a, as a you know kid really piqued my interest in aviation and it set me down the career path that I, I followed today. While this aircraft might not be the biggest draw at the air and water show, without it, others wouldn't be able to get here quite so easily. And as we started flying, some of us realized we'd forgotten to ask where we were going. And I don't know what I thought we were going to do once we get up in the air, but I, I really didn't think we were going to Ohio. <laughs> yeah, we're over, we're over, right over Canton right now. The reason we were heading east was to meet these guys fresh from the air show in Atlantic City. The problem is a single tank won't get them all the way here. That's where the Stratotanker comes in, ready to, as they say in the biz, pass gas. This plane can provide long-range refueling mid-air for the likes of the Navy, the Marines and the Thunderbirds. Decker, the boom for the day, helping guide the jet in. And among the pilots down below... Major Eric Tice. When you first start, uh, it's definitely nerve-wracking being that close to another big airplane. Uh, they have lights under that'll help. Um, but then after a couple, after probably four or five times of doing it, uh, it gets pretty routine. He's been flying F-16s for years, but got a new assignment last November. I'm the opposing solo number six for the United States Air Force Thunderbirds. And he'll be doing death-defying stunts over our city in a matter of hours. We usually fly at 100 feet above the water. Um, and so while we're at 100 feet and then the skyline is up at... 1,500 feet, the buildings were pretty tall. While he tells us it takes an awful lot of training to get a seat in this spot. Uh, it's a, definitely a rush. Uh, it takes a lot of practice. Uh, usually people have nine years of experience before they can even apply to the team. There's only one thing anyone can ask if you want the job. The way I got here was I just did my best. And that is really all anyone can ask. Now we're told there are six Thunderbirds who will be doing the stunts at the air show. Eric, as you heard, is the opposing solo. Plane 5 is the lead solo. Their responsibility is to show off maximum performance while the other four demonstrate precision and will be flying as close as 18 inches from each other. We're at the Gary Jet Center. Ronald Tumulty, WGN News.